We go back to the long jump pit and Sol Cervantes. Eighteen-year-old from Cuba. Oh, huge jump from the young man. He came what in, an opener. Came in with a personal best, significantly under seven metres. And if our quick glance there is anything to go by, I think he has just jumped a lifetime best by a considerable amount. Yeah, 6.77, his PB coming in. I bet he's been training over seven metres because he's jumped 746, a new Paralympic record. That's what we see here. And what we'll see on the track now is the first final of the morning session, the men's 1500 metres T11. The first of six finals to go. That they're the world and Paralympic record set by Kamani back in 2012. Six to go in this one, including the 5,000 metres champion already at these games. Heading out just there, Yeltsin Jacques of Brazil. European champion Fedor Rudikov will also go in this one. From the RPC, the T11 complete visual impairment category. So all the runners with a guide. Christian Valenzuela there from Chile down the bottom. He won gold in the 5,000 metres back in 2012. So don't discount him. These runners have already gone the 5,000 metres, so a shorter test for them, but a uh, good test nonetheless. There he is, the man who took the 5,000 metres. Jacques of Brazil. He's also the Para Pan American Games champion over this distance as well. Sang of Kenya, who was sixth in this event of the world back in 2019. Valenzuela, eighth in the 5,000. He was looking okay, but just fell away. He's taken silver in two world championships. Karasawa, Kenya. He took silver in the 5,000 metres. The Japanese athlete, he'll be hoping for one better this time. Castro Reyes of Ecuador. Just missing out on the medals in the 5,000 metres. Someone who did get a medal in the 5,000 was that man, Wada Shimwa of Japan, who took bronze. The gold medalist on his inside of Wada Shimwa is Yeltsin Jax. Now looking for a double. Brazil have been fantastic so far in these games. And Fedor Rudikov, the European champion. He was disqualified in the 5,000 metres, so he'll be hoping for a bit better in this one. With around four minutes of work in front of them. So seven start, three to get medals. And getting out quickly already is the 5,000 metres champion Yeltsin Jaks at the front with Fedor Rudikov of the Russian Paralympic Committee behind him and Wada Shinya of Japan in third place. So Jaks has gone out very similar to how he did in that 5,000 metres. He was at the front for most of the way in that in the top two and it was a little bit more of a cagey affair in the 5,000 as you can imagine doing a lot further around. But this one, when they come around and 
head across the finishing line. They'll have three laps of this wonderful stadium circuit to do before they hit the finishing line. And he's looking very strong indeed. Those guys, of course, compulsory in this category and they have to run with that tether. And the tether has to be attached the whole time and the athlete has to go across the line before the guide at the end as well. You can't be pulling, you can't be helping, you can talk to the athlete, but you must run separately to them as far as dragging them along goes. Otherwise, you will face disqualification. It's a category that sometimes when you can't really see what's happened, the experienced officials will see it and you will be disqualified. But out in front at the moment, the Elchin Jarks is about 25 metres out in front and looking really strong. Well, he'll certainly have witnessed the qualifiers. We saw a couple of fallers, which can be one of the challenges in the visually impaired category, especially in these tight, faster distances such as the 1500 metres. And you can see some jostling going on in the main pack here. And this is where the guides have to be really careful to make sure they give their athletes enough space to move around. So at the moment, Jax is just running his own race. And here he can really concentrate on finding that rhythm, stride for stride, in sync with his stride as they've got two laps to go. And now the rest of the chasers are going to be starting to think about a silver and a bronze because it looks as though Jax is just a slight class above and we know that he's got a strong finish as well and he's staying out of trouble and they've got a lot of work to do if they're going to start to reduce that gap as we come to the final lap and a half. Well, the interesting part as well is that the two guys in the first and second position at the moment have both got their guys on the inside, whereas the remaining five athletes have their guides who take part on the outside. So it's all about being comfortable and where you are. If the guide is on the inside, there's less chance of the athlete, of course, taking a foot off the track, which would be disqualification. But at the moment, Yeltsin Jarks is looking really strong in front there in first position with his guide, Dos Santos. And he's looking like he's going to make it a double because at the moment, with around 450 metres to go, he is about 50 metres in front of Wada Shinya, who took bronze in the 5,000 metres. So they take the fell across for the last 400 metres. One circuit remaining. And if anything, Jax has picked up the speed. So you do worry sometimes with these athletes when they take up speed up, up a bit in the last lap that they sometimes can falter towards the end. But the chasing pack we see there led by Castro Reyes at the very back taking up the field in that group there has got a lot of work to do. So the battle is going to be on for second and third position because that man out in front, Yeltsin Jax, is looking extremely powerful. Shinya of Japan is in second position and Fedor Rudikov of the RPC, the European champion, sitting in third. And it's been that way for much of the race already as Yeltsin Jax comes around the last 100 metres. We'll keep an eye on the time as they come across because it's looking pretty quick. 3.40 already. The world record mark is 3.58.37, which was set in September 2012 at the London Summer Paralympic Games. And Jax is going across the line now. And 357.60, it is a new world record. So he makes it a double in the distance events. Water of Japan picks up the silver. And it is Fedor Rudikov, the European champion, who takes the bronze medal. But what a finish from Yeltsin Jarks. A world record to add to a 5,000 metres gold medal as well. He's done the double. A new... Asian record for Wada Shinya of Japan in 4.05.27 and a lifetime best for Fedor Rudikov. Valenzuela goes across the line, but it's all about that man there, Yeltsin Jarks. Gold in the 5,000 metres, gold now in the 1,500 metres, complete visual impairment category. Well, what a race. From the very beginning they took it out, they were never headed. And the whole 1,500 metres... It was Brazil out in front. Wider of Japan, 44 years of age, has taken a silver medal to add to that bronze that he took in the 5,000 metres. And Rudikov, after being disqualified in the 5,000, takes a bronze for the RPC. So that's a familiar sight for that man in these games. The Yeltsin Jarks, world record, smashing the mark from nine years ago in London. Well, they obviously had a race plan coming into that. Yeltsin Jackson, his guide, Dos Santos, and they stuck to that plan. No one interfered. It went to the line. 
And a world record to boot, whether that was in the planning, who knows? But it was certainly the way to run a 1500 meters from the front, a gutsy, gutsy performance, but it does keep you out of trouble. And having that synchronicity with the guy just helps. It's not quite a solo run as much as it is a solo medal effort. It's a teamwork. And when it comes to going from the front, that really does help. Just to let you know about that tether you see there, in case you don't know, it's a maximum of 30 centimeters that it can be between the hands of those two athletes. So it's quite an effort to get around the track. And the fact that the athlete is a complete visual impairment, as Wada celebrates for Japan, making it two medals for himself at these games, the T11 being complete visual impairment is quite an effort that goes in with the guys to make sure they run in a synchronized style. A new world record for Yeltsin Jarks at Brazil. He makes it a double at these games, 5,000 meters, and then 1,500 meters in the T11 complete visual impairment category, 357.60 seconds, taking around a second or so off the mark set nine years ago in London by Samuel Mushai Kamani. As the Brazilian just heads across the line, he looked really smooth the whole way through. He was never headed. He looked good. And he looks for gold for the second time at these Summer Paralympic Games here in Tokyo 2020. The Olsen Jarks in a world record takes gold. Wada Shinua of Japan with a silver to add to his bronze in the 5,000. And Rudikov of the RPC, a lifetime best for him as well takes bronze.